never touch that little girl. I loved her more than I loved myself. Breaking news, a man publicly accused of homicide and the death of a three-year-old Exeter girl speaks exclusively to CBS 47 News. Chris Cheery and the girl's mother are persons of interest in this case. He sat down tonight with CBS 47's Catherine Hur. She joins us live in Tulare County with the exclusive details. Catherine. Well, Ken, we met Chris Cheery at a park in Tulare County. He fears for his safety and doesn't want anyone to know where he's staying. He wanted to tell his side of the story. What happened the day Sophia Acosta was found critically injured? We were just downstairs smoking heroin and we had smoked some pot and that's about it. Like, that's all we were really doing. Like, and the girls were upstairs in the bedroom sleeping. Chris Cheery said he and his girlfriend, Erica Smith, were doing drugs in the apartment they shared the afternoon of Saturday, May 7th. He believed three-year-old Sophia Acosta was asleep in her bed. Chris said he heard a sound and went to check on the little girl. I had found her on the ground next to the bed and she had vomit and she was knocked out with her eyes like she was unconscious but with her eyes open. Chris says he washed Sophia off in the tub while the child's mother ran for help. Chris says there was a miniature metal shopping cart next to Sophia's bed. He believes Sophia hit her head on the cart. That was exactly right at the head of her bed on the floor where her head was. And she was still wrapped in the blanket and everything. So it either it seemed like she had rolled off or had either like, you know, you know what I mean, like fell somehow. After days in the hospital, Sophia died at Children's Hospital in Madera late Wednesday night. An autopsy showed she died from blunt force trauma to the head. Exeter police have questioned Chris and Sophia's mother, Erica Smith, Chris's girlfriend. Erica's family blames Chris for the child's death. As God is my witness, it's him. I know it from the bottom of my heart. Exeter police said they don't know if Sophia was molested, but said they discovered suspicious injuries that required more testing. I asked Chris if he had anything to do with Sophia's death. Did you kill Sophia? No. Did you beat her? I never, never laid my hands on Sophia to harm her. Did you molest Sophia? No. I would never, ever touch Sophia. I loved her more than anything. And to those who believe he killed Sophia? I would honestly give my life for that little girl to be alive. Like... I would gladly be, I would gladly switch Sophia positions, like, in a heartbeat. Chris admits he's been a heroin addict for six years. He says he checked himself into rehab a week ago, but was kicked out because of the police investigation into Sophia's death. We tried to contact Exeter Police tonight for an update on the case, but were unable to reach anyone at the department. Live in Tulare County, Catherine Hurst, CBS 47, on your side.